Welcome to a new tutorial from Burton's Media Group. This is our continuing series of Corona game development, step by step, creating a basic asteroid style game. In this part, we're going to look at how to create or add in app ads to your game. So, if you're interested in adding advertising to your game, there's a variety of great plugins that make adding ads to your app very easy. I'm going to walk through the process of adding the Corona ads to your app. And that is provided through Perk, which is the company that owns Corona Labs. So this is a nice way to say thank you for the free Corona SDK to the organization and generate income for yourself and it, everybody wins. Now, if you're interested in getting started with that, the first thing that you need to do is go to monetize.coronalabs.com and sign up for Corona ads. You can also go to the Corona Labs website and log in as a developer and then go to the Corona ads and get started that way. Just follow the directions on the website. So we're going to add our ads to the system. The first thing that we need to do is enable the plugins in build.settings so that it can handle the ads that are going to be inside of our application. So we need to add a couple to handle these plugins. Currently, I do not have any plugins in this system, so let's get those added. Now, if you go to the Corona Ad site, it'll give you specific directions on the commands that you need to include in your settings to add the plugins so that this will work correctly. So I'm going to here, right below orientation, add my plugins from the Corona instructions. And as you can see, it adds two plugins. We've got plugin Corona Ads and identifies the publisher and the supported platforms, both iPhone and Android, and also enables the Google Play services so that everything will work correctly. Now, if you are planning on publishing to the iOS system, you do need to enable internet capabilities and tell it, Apple that it is safe to go to these locations. So we're going to go down here to our iOS section where we've got iPhone and our P list and go ahead and enable those types of internet connections. Okay, so here in our P list, we'll enable the security protocols so that it can pull the ads in off the internet. That should be all that we need to do. This allows our arbitrary loads to handle it, and we're set and ready to go. So now we just simply need to do our ad placement. There are two basic types of ads that come with Corona ads. We have an interstitial, which takes up a large portion of the screen or the entire screen for placing the ads. Generally, interstitial ads pay the best. Um, it's your decision whether or not you want a full screen ad inside your app or not. Banners are smaller ads than interstitial and only take up a small portion of the screen. Usually they are placed either at the top of the screen or at the bottom of the screen. The Corona Ads website, when you are generating your ad, will allow you to select the type of ad that you want to use inside your system. So let's go to main.lua and that's where we need to initialize the ads inside the system. Um, tell it that we're going to be using these plugins and get everything set up the way that it needs to be set up. So in main.lua, right below our random seed, we're just going to create a couple of variables. Local Corona ads equals our plugin. Okay, that'll load in Corona ads. You also need to set your local API key that is given to you through Corona ads. I'm just going to put equal, empty quotes there that you'll find your API key associated with the ad and the app on your dashboard and be able to plug that in. So it's going to be some kind of uh, very long number that will go into the system. Well, let's, let's just put a temporary one there right now. It won't be correct, but it'll give you an idea of what to expect in the API key. There we go. There's an example of what one might look like. And it does need to be in quotation marks. So the next thing that we need to do, add to main is a listener for this, for your ads. So we're going to create a function that will be the ad listener to handle the successful initialization of your ads. So if the event phase is initial, then we'll shift, set the variable that the ads have been initialized. 
go. That'll tell it that it's have been initialized, and we can pass that to our various scenes so that everything will work the way that it should be. Now that we have the add listener created, all we need to do is initialize it. So we'll do a Corona adds and do the call the initialize method, pass it the API key that we created, and that it needs to go to the add listener function as soon as it's completed. And now we save main and we're ready to go from there. Now, if you want to include a add on the menu scene, we can jump over to menu and we need to include requiring the plugin in our menu scene so that it'll be clear or we'll be able to use this as part of our API. So local Corona ads equals require plugin Corona ads. We can set our banner placement. And we'll set that as uh, just empty quote right now. And we need a function for showing our ads. So local function show add. And we do need to check to make sure everything was initialized. So the first thing we'll do is check to make sure that the composer dot get variable that we created on main is equal to true. And if that is equal to true, then we're going to place our banner. Now, the banner placement is going to be a variable that is given to you on the dashboard. Um, it might be something like um, banner top or banner bottom or something like that. It'll, it'll be a string that is given to you inside the dashboard, so you need to make sure that you include that in your information so that the ID for the correct banner is loaded into the application. Now, this is just creating the function for showing the ad. Once we're showing the ad, we do need to go ahead. Once we get the function done, we do want to show the ad. Now, this the only place that we actually need to show it is in the scene colon show. So let's go ahead and add our show ad in the phase did, meaning that everything has been loaded. There we go. And now we've got showing, now we're showing our ads. Um, it's probably would be a good idea to hide the ad as well. So we'll go down here to scene.hide and we'll tell it that when you're preparing to hide it, let's go ahead and call Corona ads dot hide and our banner placement. And now the ad will be removed from the game so that everything will be done. Do the exact same thing if you want to include ads in your high score scene. Um, I don't recommend placing ads in the active game itself. That distracts the player from play and they're not likely to look at the ad or tap on the ad during gameplay unless that happens accidentally, which leads to player frustration. So it's a good idea to always place your ads carefully that way. Okay. So now we've got ads in our game and we're able to start making money from the game as it runs. If you have any questions or concerns, please put them in the comments be below and we'll be happy to respond to them. We have a lot more tutorials and lessons forthcoming. If you'd like to follow what's happening, you can follow us on Twitter at Dr. Brian Burton or Facebook at Burton's Media Group, or follow us on our website, burtonsmediagroup.com. If you'd like notification through YouTube, hit the like or subscribe button.